Hi Aquarius and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at IntimateGoddessTarot at gmail.com. Okay? So, with that being said, let's get your reading started. Okay? Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 22nd, from April 26th to the to May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th to the May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th. Way too many damn cards. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th through May 2nd, 2020. Okay. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love from April 26th to May 2nd, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in Love. There we go. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I got the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups. I got the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I got the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So, Aquarius, you guys are reminiscing about somebody. You guys are reminiscing about them. This person could have rejected you or you could have rejected this person. But yet... You're reminiscing about them. When this person rejected you, you could have rejected them. You've been waiting on this. You could be waiting on them because you want commitment. Because you want commitment with this person. I mean, if I'm not picking up on your energy, then you need to flip it and I could be picking up on their energy. But somebody here is doing some praying. They could be meditating. They could be doing some self-reflecting because about the Ten of Cups. But somebody here wants the Ten of Cups, because you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So somebody here wants commitment. And you could be praying about this person, you could be meditating, you could be doing some self-reflecting. You're waiting on this person, but this person could have rejected you. Somebody from your past could have ended up rejecting you, or you could have rejected this person. Either or, okay? So let's find out what's the deal, because, you know, I want to get straight to the point. Find out what's going on with your Aquarius to see if you guys been doing okay let's see and this also applies to the aquarius men is not just to the females is also applied to the men just as well because this involves you as a lot okay you guys have a lot to do this do with this i can't even get the words out today let's see i can't get my words out you see i can't even get my words out i don't know whatever but let's find out about the Six of Cups. Please give me more information on the Six of Cups. Please give me more information on the Six of Cups. 
Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. And by the way, some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or fire, Sag, Leo, Aries, or you could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you guys could be dealing with just anybody. Because I have all the elements here. Okay, so let's see here. I have the Nine of Wands. So you could have been resisting this person. This person could have been resisting you. Uh, I got the Six of Wands. There was no victory in this. But somebody was resisting somebody from the past. So there was no victory in that i mean i don't know how but and then look at you right here here you are the star you coming out in your own reading so this was you was the one that was resisting this person and we have the emperors in reverse so was it in reverse no it was upright i'm sorry it was upright so even though you was resisting this person there was no victory you probably wasn't giving this person any attention neither. For some of you guys, you didn't really give this person any attention. But for, for some reason, you still have hope with this person. With the Empress here, you guys still want expansion with this person. You guys still want to be, you still want to grow with this person. You still want to go at it. Even though you was resisting them. And really wasn't giving them any attention. You guys still have hope for this relationship. You still want expansion with this person. You still want it. But if you re if you was resisting, why why was you guys resisting them? Because somebody here got rejected. You could have rejected this person. They could have rejected you. But you still want to be with this person either way. Even though everything that went down between the both of you guys, you still want to be with them. Let's find out about the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information with the Four of Cups. Oh, and by the way, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Please get more information on the Four of Cups. Oh, wow. Aquarius. Okay, so the first card that came out was the sun. So you guys are happy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. So you guys are happy. And then we got the queen of swords here. So you guys could be communicating with this person now. And then we have the ace of pentacles here. So there's stability here. So you guys could be communicating with this person. And then look at this. We got the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you guys are now willing to put in the work and effort into this connection. So you guys, either this person rejected you or you rejected this person. Somebody was resisting them. There was no victory at all. You probably wasn't giving this person any attention, attention they deserve. But deep down inside, you still have faith for this with this person. You still want to keep going at it with this person. You still want growth and expansion with them. So even though they rejected you, you still, or you rejected them, you still want to be with this person. And 
you could be feeling bored as well. Some of you guys are feeling bored. Some of you guys could have felt, was like I said, rejected. They rejected you. But then now you're happy because you guys are now communicating. There's communication going on here now with the Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords, she's a great communicator. She's a great communicator. She speaks the truth, but she's also the queen that doesn't put up with nobody's BS. Just letting you know, she's not going to put up with nobody's BS. When she's done, she's done. Okay? And if you're not serving her, she will cut you out of her life. Okay? Because she's not going to make time for your BS at all. And when she speaks, she speaks the truth. Okay? Now, when she talks, uh, it could come across kind of rude, harsh, but she's telling you the truth in your face. And if you don't like it, then that's your problem. She's not going to sugarcoat anything for you. She'll tell you the truth. But And she's a great communicator. So you guys could be communicating right about now about stability. Putting the work and effort into this connection. You guys could be communicating right about now. Maybe some of you guys are communicating. Some of you guys are not. And look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the fool. And look, right underneath that. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. You guys are in love here. And you happy though. So you guys may be communicating with this person again. So let's find out about the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Please get more information on the Three of Wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Please get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Please get more information on the three of wands. Okay. What we got here? Oh, wow. So, somebody here was waiting. And we got the Nine of Cups. We got the Three of Wands, and now we got the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So, somebody here was waiting. While they was waiting, they wasn't happy at all. You guys could have been that distant, either emotionally or physically distant from each other. But, whoever, I mean, either way, you guys were not happy. You guys were not happy at all but now with the ace of swords here you guys are communicating and you're speaking the truth because the ace of swords is communication and it's honest communication so you guys could be being honest with this person now Aquarius because you guys could have been the one that rejected this person and now you could you could be wanting to talk to this person talk things out and put wanting to put things you know work things out start all over can't get my words out, but look, with the Ace of Swords here, you guys communicating, and look, the Page of Wands, this is you guys, this could be you guys texting that person, sending messages to them, little flirtatious messages, because the Ace of, because the Page of Wands is also flirtatious energy, and the Page of Wands also brings good news, so that's good news there that you're bringing, and look, the King of Wands, so you feel passionate about this person, Aquarius. You feel very passionate about them. And look, you feel very passionate. That's why you busy texting them. Little cute, little passionate things and everything. Telling them things. You're speaking the truth. You're telling them the truth. Whatever that truth is. But you guys are communicating. And we also have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you thought that was ended. But it didn't end. Because we have the Ten of Cups here now. So you thought it ended between the both of you guys. It didn't end at all because you guys are now talking. You guys are now talking because you still have faith in it. Even though you rejected this person for whatever reason you had to reject them. Because you was resisting them. You probably wasn't giving them any attention at all. Deep down inside, this person makes you happy. And now that you guys are talking again, you're happy. It makes you happy to know that you guys are talking. Because you see a future with this person. You see a future and now you're willing, you're willing to put in the work and effort that it takes to be with this person. Look, 
at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of, six of Cups. So you love this person. You do love them because the Six of Cups is love. And you also be thinking about this person. You're constantly thinking about them. You're constantly reminiscing about them. Yeah, you're constantly reminiscing about this person. So let's find out about the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I understand now. See, because y'all Aquarius, it's been mainly the men. Mainly the men. You guys were being very indecisive. You couldn't want to, you didn't know if you want to be with this woman. Because one minute you was like, yeah, the next minute you're like, no, then yes and no. But I now I understand the reason why you guys still have hope, even though you rejected this person, why you guys still had hope for the relationship and you guys wanting to grow and expand with her was because your ass was being so damn indecisive. One minute was yes, the next minute was no. I mean, even though the two of swords are not here, but given your track record, Aquarius, that's what you guys were doing. I'm just saying, okay? Let's find out more. Let's find out about the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more, <laughs> get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. I'm gonna get one more. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Ten of Pentacles. This has not ended. <laughs> what did I just finish saying? You guys and your track record of being indecisive. Oh, I want to know. I don't. Yes, I do know. I don't. Two of Swords, right there. It just came out because that was because that's a track record. You guys have that reputation of being indecisive, una unable to make up your damn mind. One minute you do, the next minute you don't. It's like, man, I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. Shit, look at it right there, the, the, two, of, the two of Swords. But this time, it's in reverse because now you made a decision, hopefully. Hopefully you stick to this decision, Lord. Aquarius, please help me out. Help me out, okay? Stick to your decision. Okay, look. And then we got the five of the five of swords in reverse. So you guys want to mend things with this person? Yeah, you guys gonna need to kiss ass because if you guys were the one that rejected this person and wants to come back now and you want to come back now and all that indecisive that you guys had going on, yeah, you may want to kiss ass. Just saying. I mean, you don't have to do it. You do what you want to do. You do whatever works for you. I'm just saying. Because uh, we also have the four swords. You want to mend things because this, you could have rejected this person or this person could have rejected you. Remember, this can go vice versa. So if you need a flipping, then by all means, go right ahead and flip it because I may not be picking up on your energy. I could be picking up on the other person's energy. And look. The Eight of Cups, I mean not the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands here. The Eight of Wands, this is you guys communicating. This is fast communication, texting, email, or this could be you guys traveling to go see this person. Either they're traveling to see you or you're traveling to see them because we have the King of Cups here. We have the King of Cups here. And the King of Cups, he's extending himself out because right now this King of Cups, he's emotionally balanced. He's emotionally balanced, and the only time he extends himself is when he's in love. And this King of Cups, he's in love because he, he just wants to be with you. So if you guys end it, because this had ended between the both of you guys. It has not ended. It's, this person's coming back. The death card is in reverse. So this is kind of like a rising from the phoenix. 
you thought had ended between you guys? No, that has not ended. This person is coming back. Whether you was the one that rejected them or they rejected you, don't matter. Somebody's coming back here because this person still has faith in your connection. They still have faith in your connection. This time around, they're offering you commitment. Or you're offering commitment to this person. You want you going to you know make amends for everything, for uh, treating this person the way you treated them or the way they treated you. But once you guys start communicating, that's gonna make you happy. I feel both of you guys are gonna be happy once you guys start communicating and you actually talk things out because you do have a conversation that's pending here. So once you guys talk talk things out and actually be honest with each other, things will go better for you guys because look somebody here is releasing the stress we got the, the bottom of the deck we have the ten of wands right here releasing stress to have with the ace of wands having a passionate new beginning and cooperating with the three of pentacles that's good aquarius this is really good whatever you guys were going through that was stressing you out you guys already released it because now you guys want a new beginning with this person and some of you guys could be dealing with a scorpio and who else can you guys be dealing with? Ruben, like I said, uh, a Leo. I don't know if I mentioned the Leo or Virgo. Okay. You guys will be dealing with anybody. But I'm just naming out the ones that I'm seeing here. Okay. Please give me more information on the Four Swords. Please give me more information on the Four Swords. Please give me more information on the Four Swords. Please give me more information on the Four Swords. Please give me more information on the Libra. Yeah. And the Sag. Please get more information on the Four Swords. 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 Come on, Aquarius. Please get more information on the Four Swords. 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 Why is the Four Swords here? Please get more information on the Four Swords. Oh my God. Please get more information on the Four Swords. Why is the Four Swords here? Please get more information on the Four Swords. Okay. Ah. Uh, because this kept going. I kept getting a story after story after story. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let me see. What cards came out? Okay, the first card, the four swords. This is somebody praying, meditating, doing some self-reflecting. First card out, four pentacles. You guys were praying. If you guys were not opening up to this person emotionally or financially, this is a love reading, so I'm going to go right ahead and say emotionally. And you guys are doing some self-reflecting because you guys were not opening up to this person at all emotionally. Strength card. You was holding back. You was not saying you was not you was holding back from this person. You could have been pushing them away as well. We have the six of pentacles here. This was not an equal give and take at all. Things were imbalanced. There could have been other people involved in this connection. It doesn't have to be other people. It could easily be a person's job, family member, or friends that were involved and you probably paid more attention to them than you did to the other person. So this was a it was un it was it was not balanced. This this was not a balance. It was not an equal give and take. You was basically crumbing this person. That's what you was doing. You was not opening up to them emotionally. You was pushing them away. I mean, well, yeah, you could have been pushing them away. You was holding back, and you was crumbing this person. And then we have the Seven of Swords here. You was also lying. You could have been lying, cheating to this person, which, which here was the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. That's you lying, trying to be sneaky, self-sabotaging the relationship. Whatever you was doing that was up to no good, it was not, you was crumbing this person. You was crumbing this person. You was not opening up to them. But now, you're coming out in your own reading. Again, because this is you right here. This is you coming out in your own damn reading. Aquarius. So now, you're making a decision to communicate with this person. Because 
the Aquarius, the way you guys do, when once you guys are an Aquarius, Aquarius is a is a the King of Swords. That's what I'm trying to say. The King of Swords for me as a reader, I see the King of Swords as an Aquarius. The King of Swords, he's an authority figure. He tends to be a cop or in the military, or he could be in a leadership position at his job, which could be a director or manager. This is somebody that's very, that's cold, distant, detached. They could be aloof. And um, this is someone that, uh, that when they speak, they speak the truth. And this person is very firm. And once they make a decision, that decision is final. There's nothing you can do or say to get this person to change their mind. Because once they put their foot down, it's a wrap. And this person, when they speak, they speak the truth. So you're making a decision here because the King of Swords makes decisions and he acts on the truth. He takes action on the truth. So you're making a decision to speak your truth to this person. And you're going to take action because... You want a second chance. You had your wake-up call and you want a second chance with this person. And we also have the world. No, the wheel of fortune here. This is the wheel of fortune. So things are going to turn around for you. Things are going to start turning around for you. Because now you're making a decision to communicate with this person. And you want a second chance. Because you now realize what you did wrong. Well, you probably always known. But you probably didn't want to acknowledge it. But this time around, you're acknowledging it, acknowledging it with the four swords here. You acknowledge that you did not open up to this person emotionally, that you was holding back, you was crumbing, you was crumbing them, and you was lying, uh, cheating, being sneaky, self-sabotaging the relationship. You acknowledge this. You're owning up to your, you're owning up to your stuff now. Okay, you're owning up to your shit right now. You're owning up to it, and you know that you did this person wrong, and that's why now you're making a decision to come back. You want to come back and hoping that this person gives you a second chance. And you could have had this, per this person waiting just as well. You could have had them waiting on you. And you could have been resisting them, because look, the Nine of Wands is here. You could have been resisting them, not giving them any attention, and you're starting to own up to it. You're owning up to it. That's what you're doing right now. I'm going to get one more for the four swords because this is like this is like a whole entire story within itself. Please get more information on the four swords. 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 Okay. So, I got the seven of wands here. So, you could have been pushing this person away just as well. You could have been pushing them away as well. We got the hermit here. So... You guys could have been dealing with a Virgo as well. You guys are probably not talking. But we got the Eight of Swords here. So you're out of your head. You're out of your head. You're no longer in your head. You're now, you want to communicate with, with this person right here. You want to communicate with them, with this person because you guys are not talking. Like I said, some of you guys probably have already started talking. Some of you guys have not started talking. But Aquarius... You guys, Aquarius, you want to start talking to this person. You want to reach out to this person and talk to them. Because this time around, you're willing to put in the work and effort that it takes to make this connection expand. Because you want expansion and growth. Because you still believe in this relationship. You still believe in it even though you rejected this person, this person rejected you. You still have faith in it. And you want, I mean, and the opportunities here, because you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords here. So the opportunities here for you guys to have a good relationship. And when you guys start talking, it's going to make you feel happy. Both of y'all are going to be happy either way. They're going to make both of you guys happy. So things are going to turn around for you. And some of you guys could be dealing with another Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. Or, uh, yeah. Who else do I see here? Uh, Libra, Leo, okay, 
That's what, you guys could be dealing with anybody. But either way, so, oh, and a Virgo. So you guys could be dealing with a Virgo as well. So you guys could be dealing with anybody. For sure. But you guys are no longer in your head. You guys ready to do self-reflecting and you're owning up to your shit. Owning up. So now let's find out about the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information. Okay. Wow. Perfect ending. So check this out, Aquarius. Look. I'm glad that you guys are owning up to your shit. I really am. The Ten of Cups, look at that. The world. A new beginning. You want a new beginning? Again, you're dealing with one of the four fixed signs. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. New beginning. Look at this. Justice. Making things right. Whatever was wrong, you're making it right. Balancing out the scales. Making sure that everything's an equal give and take. Page of Cups. You're making an offering here. You're offering this person something. You're offering the person love. You started new. You guys are getting starting to get to know each other better. You know? Because apparently you guys didn't know each other that. You probably, you guys probably don't know each other all that well. Maybe some of you guys do. Some of you guys don't. But from what it shows here, you guys probably don't. Because one, because you guys wasn't opening up emotionally. You was pushing away. You was pushing them away. You was crumbing them. You was uh, resisting them. I mean, you was holding back. So most likely... You guys don't know each other all that well, but with the Page of Cups here, that's you guys getting to know each other better, starting from new, again, balancing out the scales, making things right, uh, starting all over again, you know, having a new beginning, and the Three of Swords in reverse, so if you guys were in a three-party situation, you're no longer in that three-party situation, or if this was, um, if you got hurt due to a past relationship, you're no longer hurting over that. You already got over it. You're done and over with. You already got over that, so you're no longer in that energy. You're now able to move on to commitment, because look what we got at the bottom of the deck. The hair fun. The hair fun. This is a hair fun here. You guys want commitment. You guys are now ready for commitment now. You guys are now ready for commitment. You guys are going to be reaching out to this person. It's good. It's good. You guys are owning up. That's This is really good, Aquarius. It's about time. It took you long enough, though. It took you long enough. So, you guys, this is a good reading, Aquarius. You guys are owning up to your shit. You're going towards this person because you still believe in them. You still care for them. You still love them. There's still love here between the both of you guys. So, you're going to go to them, offer them, make an offering, talk, speak your truth, and... uh you're going to have your commitment. Because that's what you want. You want commitment. At the end of the day, you have, you want commitment. And you know what? The opportunity is there for you. All you got to do is grab it. All you got to do is grab it. And this will be a stable connection. And you will be happy in it. So Aquarius is your decision. Hopefully you stick to it. Because from this reading, it could be a good connection. You guys could have a really good connection here. Unless you decide to change your mind again. I mean, that is your track record. So, let's get your guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. 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 Please give me... Okay, here we go. Timing. No, team spirit. Work together as a team. Cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and... Kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again. You guys take care. Be safe. You know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to wash your hands. And while you at it, wash that ass. And Aquarius, stay cool. Bye.